Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Fortnite on your Windows computer. So this is a free to play game and I have received a couple requests to make a video like this. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial. And I'm going to just type into Google Chrome. I want to get over to Google.com. So in the Google, you want to type in Fortnite download, and then you want to hit enter. One of the best matches should be for a domain that says download slash epic games. You want to open that up. Now you want to select the correct download here, so whether you're on Windows or Mac, and then once you've selected that, the download will begin, so please be patient. And once it's done downloading, we just can left click on it once to open up the file here. We can minimize that of our web browser. If you receive a security notification, just left click on run. Make sure it's a verified publisher, which it showed as Epic Games. So at this point, just left click on the install button at the bottom of this prompt here. It'll begin the process. If you receive a user account control window, left click on yes. If you receive any firewall notifications, allow access for this application. So just left click on accept. If you receive another user account control window, left click on yes. I 
I would recommend if you get a notification for Net Framework 3.5 or any version up here that you do download and install the feature, but for time's sake I'm just going to skip the installation here. And otherwise, once you're done doing that, you should be able to open up the application without too much of a hassle. So there you go guys, at this point you just would sign in or create an account, and that's pretty much it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.